and President Joe Biden on the line right now. Good morning. How are you? Hey, it's great to be on the 90 Flower Rock Show with Sammy Davis, Skyrider, and Mahogany, man. God love you. <laughs> Forgive me if the line's crackly. I'm not sure if the connection's great here in Europe. You know, if I sound garbled, it could be either that or I, I might just have a mouthful of Belgian chocolate. Ah, good for you. <laughs> Ever tell you about the time Champ and Major, my, my boys, got into some Belgian chocolate? <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh, they got pretty sick, man. Yeah, they dragged their heinies on the floor of our beach house when we were out sailing, and the, and the Roomba smeared it all over the living room carpet. <laughs> my, my advice is don't get a self-cleaning Roomba with the, the pooches in the house. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, you're in Brussels now after your summit in England with the G7. Did you feel good about the NATO summit? Oh, yes, it went great. Really, really great. Yeah, America's back. Have you heard? No, America's yeah. back, man. I've been telling everyone. Sometimes I turn around, look over my shoulder, and I say, see it? America's back. <laughs> oh, they love that dad joke. They, they love me over there, man. I'm killing it. And, and rest assured, the special relationship between us and the great Encyclopedia Botanica is uh, better than ever. Great Britain, come on. <laughs> There's an echo in here, man. I just said that. But, but I'll tell you what, Stubby. The, the people who live in the pond here, God bless them. They, they're just so nice and polite, and they're not self-conscious at all. Surprisingly, they, they got horrible teeth. They, they still smile big and wide, though, man. <laughs> yeah, that's a very bad general type about the people in Great Britain, though. Come on. Well, I, you know, I don't know. I, I'm sure they import a lot of Bluetooth speakers. Maybe they do make stereos. Oh but even while most of the people I've encountered have been great, they, I did have somebody start yelling at me in the airport. And they said, hey, Joe, get out of here, you tosser, you wanker. And I said, uh, you mind if your manners there, lady? I haven't burped a worm since the day I met my wife, Jilly. Right, so how was your time with Queen Elizabeth? Well, I'll tell you what. The Queen has got herself a great sense of humor there, Jack. Now, she doesn't get the credit she deserves. Everything was all tense when we were introduced, and then, then I bowed and I kissed her ring, and then and I winked at her real quick and asked her to pull my fingers. Yeah. Yeah, just a little working-class humor there from Scranton, man. She loved it. <laughs> yeah, we heard you violated royal etiquette by leaving your aviator sunglasses on while greeting the queen for the first time. What happened with that? Oh, no, no, no that, that's just the tabloids talking, man. They're just trying to sell papers. There wasn't a problem with my sunglasses at all. Well, the, the, the thing that happened was we were finishing up our soup, and, and, and we had our water glasses there with our choppers in them, and, and I, I accidentally grabbed her glass and popped her dentures in instead of mine. It was just, just a funny mistake, man. She even put mine in it for a second. You should have saw her. Oh, no, thanks. So you said she what reminded... a wide smile she had on that face. It's pretty wide. Uh, now, you said she reminded you of your mom. Is that right? You know what? She really did. I think, I think it was a smell. And, and, you know, I'm all about the sniffing, yeah. so I, I got a good sniffer on me. Yeah, she was smelling like Vicks Vapor Rub and refried beans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the queen, she was just like my sweet mama. Yeah. She was all stooped over and shuffling around like she had a load in her pants. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, some said you've been putting out a lot of words, but no real action. The statement on China, for example, just called for a thorough investigation by the World Health Organization. Yeah, we got to get the who involved, man. We got to... Get, a, get our pinball wizards over there. Put pressure on the Chinese, man. Just like the old expression, if at first you don't find the clumsy lab tech who dropped a vial of coronavirus thing in the Chinese lab, try, try again. Is that how it goes? That's, yeah, well, you're set to meet with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Geneva, Switzerland, uh, like today. You said you're not looking for conflict with Russia, but you won't let him get away with what they've been doing either. What are you referring to? Oh, the bad stuff, man. You know, the bad stuff. The bad stuff they do with the the suburb thing there, the suburb austerity. The what? The suburb that simmer cyber systemically. The, the cyber suburb <laughs> with the stealing the stuff on the screen thing, and then <laughs> then you got to give them all up money to get they get your crap back, man. It's got to stop. <laughs> Are you gonna talk tough with Putin though? How are you gonna handle him? You better believe I'm gonna talk tough, man. And I'll t tell you what, Jack. If he starts giving me any of that hard ass Ruski crap. I'll just take him to school and give him a nipple twister that'll make him never want to take his shirt off on a horsey again. Uh, all right. Well, I know you're a busy, man. So, hey, thanks for calling. Hey, room service. I'm glad you finally picked up, man. Can I get another Belgian waffle? My wife, Jilly, just stole the last one off my plate.